to the bed. Do you know that? Is Tuesday. I've just got back from a long weekend in Norfolk. I didn't vlog, I didn't Instagram, I didn't do anything. There was no Wi-Fi. So I basically had like a weekend off of social media, which was very nice and a little bit needed. Not like super needed, but a little bit needed. But yeah, I am home now and I'm doing really well. I think it might be the fact that I know that I don't have trips for like a good few more weeks now. Well, I say that I actually have like a little stay at hotel but like locally this weekend so it's not really a thing it's just the pig hotels are opening up a new hotel in arundel and i just really wanted to go and check it out so i booked a little stay there me and ryan this weekend and we're really excited to go but literally like that's not really a trip because it's so local so i don't really feel like i'm actually going anywhere but yeah apart from that up until my birthday i don't have anything booked in and i think the prospect of just like being home for a little bit now is doing wonderful things for my brain i feel very very happy today this morning i was meant to film an autumn morning routine you guys and it just did not work out i basically <laughs> it made me realize i have no routine at the moment that is actually particularly vlog worthy. Like Ryan and I, it's obviously my first morning home in like four or five days. This story sounds like it's about to be really on PG, but basically we just laid in bed for like a good half an hour looking at all of the like Met Gala coverage, like all of the outfits, we were loving it. Then got really sidetracked and started looking at pictures of Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker. I don't know why I'm particularly obsessed with that situation. What else were we doing? There was something else that we ended up getting really sidetracked on and really obsessed with. Oh, I also just cried at how cute Nala was. So it's just been one of those weird mornings where I've not really got a lot done before I've had to like, you know, start the day. So it was literally have a coffee and cry over how cute the dog is. Hopefully over the next few weeks, I will develop some kind of routine that isn't crying at the dog and looking at photos of Kravis. Anyway, I then proceeded to do my skincare and all of that. Then got really sidetracked looking at dresses for my birthday. I've got quite a lot going on for my birthday, so I got really, really sidetracked looking at cute dresses. I can't decide between going for something like simple, like the theme is either gonna be simplicity or sequins and sparkles, and I really can't decide which one. So if I do a like choosing my birthday dress video, just pre-warning, it's it's gonna be a mix because I'm yet to decide. It's like the, you know, like the dress that you always remember as being like your 30th birthday dress. So I need to like, pick well and I don't think I'd whether I went for something really like bougie or I went for something really simple I don't think I'd ever be like oh why did I wear that I think it's just such a special day that you can kind of like go with whatever and then I got sidetracked with the fact that I need to pick restaurants for my birthday and decide what I want to do and where I want to go when so basically just getting very sidetracked with the fact that my birthday is coming up sorry got a little bit sidetracked there again but I had to concentrate on the bronzer application <laughs> yeah that is what I've been doing this morning I'm excited as well to finish work tonight because I 
have a few things that I want to cook for dinner. We're going to cook Mexican. I saw my friend have these sweet corn ribs from Leon the other day. They're like sweet corn ribs with like truffle mayo and they're covered in cheese and it just looked so good. I couldn't have it because it wasn't vegan. I was like, I can make my own version of that at home. So I'm doing that tonight alongside a nice little like Mexican burrito feast and I'm so looking forward to it. I'm also very excited because I think I may have an episode of Nine Perfect Strangers to watch, which I'm really enjoying. Lots of you that watch the vlogs regularly and like my book recommendations will know that I've already read the book, which I loved. I absolutely loved it. So I was really excited for it to be made into a series. Didn't even care that I kind of already knew how it went because I thought that they might like tweak it for the series and they definitely have. So just really enjoying it because I'm not sure what to expect. I don't feel like I am watching the same storyline unfold so that feels good and i'm excited to watch that so yeah that's been my morning oh a h&m order also arrived which i will show you I got a bit carried away on there the other day after my shopping trip to h&m if you haven't watched the come shopping with me i will link it here a lot of the stuff that i liked was not available in my size so i did a little online order and got very very carried away so yeah i will show you that later on and if anyone wants to see like basically an extended version of my morning routine right now and how chaotic it is it's basically going to be the first half of this video because i basically laid in for so long and just sat around chatting in the kitchen with my coffee for so long that i have done hardly anything that i would normally have done by this point at this point so yeah you're kind of seeing my makeup routine at the moment as well which was going to be in the video basically you're still seeing all of the stuff you would have seen in the autumn morning routine just a bit more basically but yeah i'm also going to show you what i'm going to have for like brunch breakfast whatever whatever it is because i realized i have all the stuff in my fridge for my favorite breakfast and honestly it is the best so i'm gonna talk you through that this feels like the longest most mixed up intro in the world but hi hello missed you guys so much excited to be back and showing you all the things today in today's vlog yeah i hope you're all doing really well and i hope lots of you are also enjoying the Met Gala coverage because I know I really am. I think Kendall Jenner and her little Audrey Hepburn like inspired look is just my absolute favorite. Like, can I get that dress for my 30th? Because that would be goals, thank you. Anyway, in terms of my makeup routine at the moment, it is fairly simple, really hasn't changed a lot. It's just become like a more simplified version of what I've been doing so far throughout the year. Basically just use a couple of bronzers on my eye as my eyeshadow. Use a tiny bit of my MAC liquid liner. Don't know why I feel the need to talk through makeup when I'm doing the liquid liner. It's next level stupid. So yeah, so far I've just used my YSL Touche Eclat foundation, my Fenty Pro Filter Concealer, my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer on my eye and my Giorgio Armani bronzer on my eye. Oh, and my Glossier bronzer, which I'm really, really loving. And then my MAC liquid liner, and it gets fairly simple from here. It's very quick, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very happy with it. I'm now using the Anastasia Brow Pomade on my eyebrows. I got sent this a little while back, and I used to use it all the time back in the day, and it just reminded me how good it was, like it lasts all day. Such a good colour match. I used the shade Soft Brown, which I really like, and I'm just absolutely loving it. This is like an all-time favourite of mine. Also, you guys, it is autumn today, like so chilly and cloudy. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not mad about it. Yesterday when I got home from Norfolk, I actually had to, like my house was so chilly that I had to put a cardigan on and I can't remember the last time my house was like that. Granted, I have not switched the heating on yet. Also, I have the best new cardigan. After my cardigan chat in the Come Shopping With Me, I need to update you. I found the ultimate black snuggly like long cardigan. I'm gonna show it to you a bit later because I will be wearing it this evening. I also feel the need to update you guys in a really cryptic way, but I need to voice this because you not, you guys know I can't keep secrets and I am actually gonna have to keep this one, but I just need to tell you that I've had a real plot twist in my life recently. And uh, if I seem quite stressed at any point from now onwards, we can just blame it on my like secret plot twist that I can't tell you guys about. There have been developments this week. I am both excited and very, very scared. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> before anyone says it, before anyone tries to start telling me that I look pregnant, don't be that guy. Real plot twists are going on at the moment people and yeah i'm both excited and terrified so if i seem a little bit stressed at any point from now on just 
You're like, oh, it might be that thing. I know what you're thinking. Or I tell you, oh, well, because there's going to be a point where I'm, I'm going to start saying, I'm so stressed and I can't tell you why. I mean, I probably still will do that later down the line, but just pre-warning in advance. I am using my Glossier Boy Brow. I love Glossier. They make up such a big portion of my makeup bag now and I really didn't use them for such a long time. I was like a diehard fan when they launched, then just didn't use them. And now I am obsessed again. Also, update on my gels. They are lasting so well. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them. Look at my wonky middle finger, it's so weird. Yeah, the gels are lasting so well. They're growing so ridiculously fast as well. This is the one reason why I used to go get my nails done so much because look at that growth. If you rewind, that growth is literally like, I have my nails done two weeks ago on Friday. Oh, and finally an update on Nala because a few people asked what's wrong with her. I don't want to go into details on her like bodily habits, but there's just something going on at the moment that uh, it's not it's not super serious but it just like seems to flare every so often and it could be fine but I don't know she's not like 100% again yet I didn't really realize and I went away over the weekend and came back and I was like she's still not like at 100% so basically I need to get her to pee in a cup tomorrow morning which is gonna be the most difficult experience of my life like it's hard enough as a human when you have to pee in a cup like that's awkward enough let alone trying to get your dog to pee in a cup like i can't yeah hopefully it'll be fine but i just for my peace of mind need to have her tested just to make sure that it's not something more serious because my anxiety will not allow for me just being like oh we'll wait and see so just as an update using the hourglass blush stick in the shade loyal i need to get the shade devoted because it's just a little bit darker and perfect for this time of year oh and on my lips i forgot to say i have stone lip liner from mac which is my all-time favorite and anastasia beverly hills pure hollywood liquid lipstick i like the way it settles when i first put it on i'm like mm, not sure but the color like changes a little bit as you wear it and becomes a little a tiny bit more of a like pink like this muted brownie pink throughout the day and it's it's pretty yeah that's basically my makeup at the moment i'm just going to finish off with a tiny bit of bronzer powder bronzer just to set my cream bronzer and then finally i'm going to use a tiny bit of my charlotte tilbury powder and i literally just do kind of like from my under eye down i always get blemishes like in this area here so i powder over the top of them as well to melt them down it's not the powder that causes it before anyone says it. The fact that I barely saw a vegetable last week and ate a ridiculous amount of sugar. I'm just gonna do my hair now. I can't decide whether to have it straight or wavy. I might just put a quick wave through it. I need to straighten it first. I washed it last night. Pray for Zeus. Actual like Hermione Granger first Harry Potter film hair. Wow. I'm gonna speed this up because no one needs to sit through this ordeal with me. I'm basically just gonna straighten mainly the roots and ends i try and like leave this bit because it's going to be curled anyway but i try and keep the root and end a little bit more sleek i just find the finish is slightly nicer because i'm trying to do like curls not beach way well it's kind of like a hybrid so i just find the sleek look looks a bit cuter and it lasts a little bit better as well without going fluffy maybe i'll just do straightener curls i've changed my mind normally i use this this is my ghd curler i love it but i think i'm just because it's first day hair and i want this to be quick and i don't want to be doing this all like morning i am going to do straightener curls because then it saves me straightening and then using curlers i can just literally twist yeah this was a good life decision Suze. well done so i just make sure every piece of hair i do like every Section I take, I curl away, curl towards, curl away, curl towards, and then I kind of try and hold it and like bounce it. It tends to keep the curls a little bit better. So I have decided I'm going to do the final layer with the curlers because I'm just not happy. I'm not happy with this.
first day hair though. That's not it. I'm just really loving this kind of vibe at the moment where there's just like movement, but not like, it's not a curl. It's not really a wave. It's not really anything. It just kind of like looks like a leftover blow dry in a way. This is my little outfit of the day. We've got my pretty little thing body, which is fast becoming an absolute staple in my wardrobe. My Zara leopard print skirt, which I'm loving. And then we have my Converse just whilst I'm literally around the house. I'm still not sure if they're exactly the vibe, but they make my teenage heart very, very happy. Also guys, I can't lie. I'm so happy with how my autumn rail has shaped up so far. You will recognize this from my autumn, summer to autumn transitional outfits video. Like most of the things on here are either in that video or I've showed like this in the last video, which I think this is going to go on my Depop. But like apart from apart from this, because I can't talk about this, I'm so annoyed that I missed the cutoff date to return it. All of the outfits on this, I'm pretty sure were in my summer to autumn transitional outfits video, and they have absolutely banged recently. I have so been enjoying wearing everything on this rail. The leopard print skirt has also been on the rail, and I'm just finding it so easy to dress. So if you're struggling for like summer to autumn and your climate is kind of like similar to mine, go and watch that video because this is literally like all I've been working from recently, and I have not had like a bad outfit day although i have actually realized i didn't get to show you an outfit with this shirt which was from my recent zara haul i will also link that i'm going to show you that later because there's an outfit that i wore this weekend that was like chef's kiss really aggressive chef's kiss that level also this wasn't in the video but i showed it to you i think in the last video in the come shopping with me i think it was or maybe the one before whichever it was i will link it this i've just been loving with like black body underneath cycle shorts such a nice like summer to autumn piece i basically wear it in the same way that i wear my zara one which i love so much as well basically i just feel like i'm really overdue with what i wore in a week i have so many ways to style all of the things that i've been sharing with you recently and the things that i've picked up and i'm just really really enjoying them so yeah i think i'm due of what I wore in a week. Okay, so disclaimer, my breakfast this morning, I've never actually cooked it on my own. So this is gonna be really interesting. I'm basically making Ryan's like tofu scrambled egg. I really fancied it. I had all the stuff in the fridge. I'm so excited about it, but it could be a disaster. So if it is, I'm gonna ask him to do like an IGTV or something on his like food Instagram because you need the recipe, but I'm not sure I'm the person to give it to you. But if this goes successfully, you will kind of see what I've done. So to start off, we have smoked tofu. Something that I never thought I would eat ever. And basically, Ryan's gonna probably see this and be screaming at me because I'm probably doing it wrong, but you like break it up like into tiny, tiny pieces. A bit like, you know, when you kind of keep going with mincemeat and sometimes you go a bit too far and it's like in a thousand pieces. Then you add some ground turmeric, a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder. You can do a little bit of salt if you want. And then we like to add this, which is the best stuff ever. It tastes so good, even if you just get it and put it on your toast. So, so good. And then we're gonna add a little bit of cheese as well. And I've got some olive bread, which is still going strong from the weekend. So. That is gonna be my bread of choice. Oh, and some little tomatoes. Hi, am I doing this right? I normally just crumble up my fingers, but. Oh, okay. Step one of where I'm going wrong. <laughs> So things are looking a little bit better. It looks slightly more scrambled now. I've put the turmeric in, which is just a sprinkle to give it some color. We put a scoop of the Tesco's free from coconut alternative to garlic and herb soft cheese. Delish. I'm gonna grate a little bit of this and pop it in, but only a little bit because I'm gonna load my dinner up with cheese. So just a little bit. Just adding a little bit more seasoning with my chunky onion powder. Hello. Are you scrounging for some scrambled egg? It's not really scrambled egg. I don't think you like it.
Not gonna lie, my presentation needs work, but I have just taste tested it and it is a 10 out of 10, isn't it? You can smell it, can't you? Also, in case anyone's wondering, yes, I do toast my bread so lightly that it is basically still bread. Mm hmm yeah. So the postman has been busy this morning. I'm excited to get stuck into this. Okay, people, are we ready to see some things? <laughs> we obviously have the aforementioned H&M order, which I got a bit carried away with. I've also got some bits from New Look. A lot of you were really loving the fact that I picked up a couple of items from New Look recently. Disclaimer, I am working with them, not on this video, but I work with them on Instagram. So I literally thought I'd just show you the things I picked out for that for this month. And then I also have a couple of things to show you from Phoenix as well. I'm doing a job with them. It's like very, very unrelated again on Instagram. They asked if I will wear some clothing in that Instagram and asked me to pick out a couple of bits and I thought I would show you because I'm really enjoying them. So with that in mind, I'm gonna get started with with the jumper that I am wearing and I really like it. It's actually like a very fine knit, like a like a light knit, that's what I meant to say. And I love it, it's like this gray tone with like the black and green, like big leopard spots. Definitely not something I would normally pick, but there was something I really liked about it. I did think it was gonna be chunkier, but it's actually like a lot thinner. I don't know if you can tell like that. But I really like that actually because that makes it perfect for this time of year but then also it lends quite well to layering later in the year. I actually really struggle in the winter to wear thicker items because I can't layer so much. So in the autumn I actually prefer chunkier things because I'm not layering as much. I don't want to wear a coat so a thick jumper's great but further on into the winter I actually find lighter items easier. Very strange, but let me know if you find that too. I also picked out a little shirt. I wasn't sure on this one, so that's why I have two, two tops, but this one's basically like a shirt with little tigers on it, which I thought could be quite cute. Like a real statement kind of piece, but I think I prefer this one. And then on to the new look bits. By the way, their next day delivery is so good. It even beats ASOS next day delivery, which I've been really kind of like having a hit and miss experience with over the last year. But New Looks is like incredible. So we have this white shirt. This is from Kate Hutchins edit with New Look. It's got kind of like a little almost puff sleeve, but really like subtle. And I got some jeans to pair with it. I picked these up in petite because I've been having a really good experience with new look petite jeans over the last month or so. I have another pair of jeans which I'll pop a picture of here. And they're like straight leg with like a split hem but the split hem is on the inside so like very subtle. So they're almost like a hybrid between a straight leg and a boot leg because of that split it widens them slightly but it's just so cool to wear just like a really simple top and like converse. Very like I feel very Avril Lavigne in it. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. But yeah, I picked up just a really simple pair of plain black jeans. I think these are meant to be like a mom style, but just to go with the shirt. And then I just have a really cute, simple pair of heels to go with. And they've got like this braided texture. So those are very cute. I'll show you what that outfit looks like. Oh, we can try it on together. Pray that it works out for me. And then, the moment we've all been waiting for. There are some autumn tones in here, people. So, <laughs> this is such a me thing to do. I thought I'd get some new activewear pieces. And I thought I'd get them in the most autumnal color I could find because it is the season. And I love this color. These actually have a pocket on them, which is really cute. That's very handy. I really like H&M leggings. I have some really old pairs of H&M leggings and they haven't really changed, if I'm honest. But they also remind me, like the updated versions remind me a lot of girlfriend activewear, but like at a more affordable price point. These were, does it say how much? I can't remember how much they were, but their stuff is really affordable, but really good for like the high street. Just very good quality. I've had my black leggings from H&M since 2000 and. 13, they are still going strong. They are only just starting to get to the point where around the back, like the top of the back is like bobbling, but the rest of the legging is absolutely fine. I also picked up this like long sleeve sports top to go with. And I thought that'd be really handy for if I'm like going to the gym, cause I'm starting, I'm starting again, people. We have this cardigan, which I really liked the look of. Oh. However, it has just, hair has just flown off of it when I was taking it out of the bag. Now that I have my black, big, long, chunky cardigan, this might not be necessary. I'll show you what it looks like on anyway, but I just think my new chunky black one is like, it is it for me. We then have this leather jacket, 
it's like a big kind of chunky leather jacket i really like it actually it's so like soft it's like not a real leather but it's like really soft and feels really supple i think it's gonna fall really nicely because my gripes with like real leather jackets is that they're so stiff and i don't find that works well on my frame like they're too boxy so i'm hoping this one will work really nicely especially if i'm like doing like a night out and i don't want to wear a blazer i find like throwing a leather jacket over your shoulders it's just like a really nice look so we'll see how we get on with that one this could also look cool over just like leggings with like trainers we then have a couple of little comfy cozy at home pieces i really liked this one it's like a wide thin rib knit I've got the bottoms in a size small they actually feel like quite big so i don't think they're meant to be high waisted i think they're maybe meant to actually sit on the hips but you can cinch it in because it's got the tie waist so it might actually be that the drop on them is really nice because there's like extra material i then also got the matching jumper which i just thought would be really cute and it's like a nice light like thin knit jumper that goes over the top and you can like tuck it in to the bottoms and kind of like cinch it in a little bit i forgot to say i've got the leather jacket in a size small as well so it's like chunky and oversized and then with the active wear i got them in a small this is where i got really carried away okay picks up this tie waist brown coat i really love brown at the moment there's something about it that's really like speaking to me pick this up in a size a it's got a nice big collar which is very cute tie waist i'm excited about this i mean it's too early it's still too early like the weather's changed but it's still too early but i'm excited for that i think with like black jeans or black leggings my converse just a, like a really simple outfit underneath maybe like a white t-shirt or a black roll neck something really simple underneath so that the brown can like pop would be so cute and then i got this little comfy set as well in this like oatmeal-y colour. This is more of a thin ribs knit. These leggings just looked so comfortable I could not resist. And then I got the matching top for this as well which is much more of a like a fitted vibe. So I'm gonna have to decide on like a comfy set to keep because I don't need both. It might be this one. I just really like the tight like even when I hold it up I really like the tone of it against my like hair and skin and the other one is like feels slightly more like grey in its tone you see i don't know if you'll be able to see the difference but this one's like a little bit brighter so i think i like the tone a bit more and potentially the fact that it's fitted i'll like a bit more but we shall see so just so you can see the jumper in full it's just so cute i really like it i've popped it on with my leather khaki skirt from zara which is a little bit big for me <laughs> at the moment but i just kind of pulled it up a little so that it's not like too long under the jumper i feel like this jumper looks better when it just falls versus like it being tucked especially with this outfit in this case but then i've also popped on my khaki boots with the look as well which i think is really cute but this one i just think will go really nicely with so many pairs of jeans trousers even like cycle shorts leggings literally anything over autumn winter but it just also works really nicely as like a full outfit with my skirt and boots there is something so weird but that i love so much about this shirt i had a very specific edit that i was picking from on the phoenix website and a lot of it was like gani which is an amazing brand but very much not my style and very specific items from certain brands as well so i just really struggled but this this shirt really stuck out to me and i honestly i couldn't tell you why it's so not something that i think anyone would look at and be like Susie would wear that but I really like it the little weird tigers I don't know I think they're I think they're kind of cool I also just love the color palette like it's a neutral it's got like a bit of something on I'm also really loving animal print at the moment so to have like the little are they leopards or cheetahs on the shirt I feel like it's just kind of a nice touch I've actually kept the khaki skirt on underneath for this one just to show you I quite like the fact that the this makes me look so wide it like really pops out of the back but yeah it actually like dips up at the side and then you have the little like pop of khaki coming through underneath, which I think is really nice. And then I've kept the khaki boots on. And I don't know, I just kind of like this as like a little look. I almost wish it was just a bit shorter so it like ended here and then the skirt would like pop out underneath. I think that's kind of cool. But yeah, what do you guys think about the tuck? It's actually really hard to do because like I said, the skirt is big around the waist. Yeah, so you can kind of like see the skirt. I feel like that works a little bit nicer. It almost like keeps this back part in control a little bit better and like gives me a bit more shape. But yeah, I thought this shirt could look really cool with a pair of jeans and a pair of like high heel boots or actual heels as well. Just a really nice take on like a classic white shirt. And I don't know, the leopard cheetah things are weird, but 
I love them. Okay, so the jeans. I actually really like these. It's probably the first time in my life I've had a pair of mom jeans that I haven't had to roll up at the bottom. They actually come rolled up and I unrolled them for the first time ever in life, which I like. I think rolling your jeans up should be a personal choice, not an actual requirement in life, you know? So yeah, very happy about that. The shoes are cute. I like them. They're not that high. So yeah, a really nice, easy pair for me. I've got a body on underneath because I'm going to throw the shirt on in a second, but I just wanted to show you like the overall fit of the jeans without a big baggy shirt on over the top. Very happy with them. Nice and light, not too stiff. I think they'd be a really comfy like everyday pair of jeans. Okay, and this is the shirt. I actually got a size 10. It is very, very oversized. Sorry, Nala is grumbling. She can hear a car outside. Yeah, it's a little bit oversized because I went a size up. I just wasn't sure how oversized it would come. But I would say get your regular size because it is oversized. I could have done with a size 8. But I do like the overall kind of like baggy look. I have fitted shirts when I need fitted shirts. I've gone for like a half tuck because it's just my favorite kind of look with an oversized shirt i think if you go with a mom jean as well the combo looks very cool with like boots especially if they've got a print or some kind of texture to them but the heels are really nice for a night out cute little bag this would do you really well for an evening out especially like a dinner you could easily wear this out to a dinner and be very very comfortable you could even untuck pop open your top jean button if you're feeling a bit full it's a really good fail safe evening outfit yeah this is a real staple outfit for me i recently posted an instagram that was like rate my past like autumn outfits and so many of you loved basically like there was the version of this but with like a blue pair of jeans and you all died for it and it, it is one of the best like transitional outfits i have in my wardrobe so yeah this look is a keeper i'm very happy with it and you could also if you wanted to have a body on underneath as i do and wear it open which i'm going to do now cute like messy hair oversized shirt Cute little body, mom jeans, little pair of heels or a pair of boots, depending on what you like. It's just a really nice, easy look. Or a pair of trainers would actually work really well with this as well. So this is the H&M jacket. I think it's going to work really well over stuff on nights out. It's like that perfect length where it will just kind of graze my bum. Lots of jackets I find hit me at my widest point and they can be very, very unflattering. But I think this one is going to be a good one. It feels like it's a good a good length this is it on properly i think this one is going to be amazing with like a pair of leggings or like skinnies in the winter and a pair of like really great sock boots this will be one of those outfits that is like a go-to for me but i also think you could really casual it down as well and have like just a simple like black hoodie underneath a white hoodie or a great any color hoodie really but yeah just a nice like neutral hoodie underneath pair of leggings you'd be very very comfy and cozy yeah very happy overall with this leather jacket it's cute guys what do we think of the brown coat i think i like it it's gonna be a good one to have in my wardrobe i think it's gonna break up a black outfit really nicely during the winter i love the fact that it's belted personally i live for belted coats i also feel like it really makes my hair color pop quite nicely is it the best material no like you can really see here especially if the camera like pumps the brightness up i'm not sure it's the best material but once it's hung and kind of left i think it could kind of settle quite nicely and not be too obvious yeah i really like the length that's one thing i'm particularly happy with it's not too long but it's not like that awkward mid length like is a little bit too short on me and just cuts me off but yeah like i said i'm just the one thing i am a little bit on the fence about is the fact that the material just doesn't look the best but other than that i think it's a really lovely coat and it would look fab with like a black high neck roll neck during the winter and this is it like properly actually tied up for anyone that wanted to see it like that let me know what you think is she a keeper so i'm risking having to re hoover my entire house by trying this on but it is it's really cute it's really really cute it would obviously be a lot shorter on people that are average height or above for anyone that's new here i'm five foot two i love the color like this tone is so pretty i just don't love the material like the fact that there's little bits of like fluff flying everywhere is very annoying and the length also like it is a good length if you are shorter i think it's a kind of awkward length if you're taller for me i prefer my cardigans a little bit longer so this this ain't it for me sadly but like i said i'm going to show you my new cardigan next which i just 
love so this is the new and improved black cardigan is it a cardigan is it a dressing gown i'll let you decide but i am absolutely obsessed with it it feels so nice at first i wasn't really sure on this texture it's a bit of a weird one it is not one that i look at and think Hmm, I really like that but in terms of the like sleeve length how like they fall like they're quite heavy and just when I'm wearing it I really like how long the sleeves are like very very like oversized vibes it's chunky it just sits really really well it's got massive pockets and because of the like texture of it this kind of weird very like big chunky material it does look very black like some cardigans that are black are like you know they're dyed and they don't look like jet black whereas this is a very deep color and i really like that i just love the length of it as well it's like full body like can be covered if i want it to yeah I'm, just, I'm really really enjoying this one so yeah that is my new black cardigan it's from house of cb i think i got it in a size small and i really love it so let's not be too mean about it guys because i'm so so happy with it i've cut the tag off obviously because there's not a big pink ribbon hanging from it as per all of house of cb okay so super sad but i am saying no to this set already like immediately it just isn't as fitted as i thought it was going to be and all of the items look very very small when i was like holding them up like they looked smaller than i would say my body width but once i put them on like they're not like super fitted and they don't have a structure to them like there's literally like they're just very 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 thin so i just don't feel like it's the most flattering kind of like shape that they're creating together like this has a really thick waistband which in theory is great but if you don't have a fitted top then your top's kind of like hanging out over the top a little bit and it just isn't creating the best silhouette so this is where i have a real gripe with brands trying to do the whole like snatched waist thing but not thinking about the rest of the body also the light tone is just giving off like unflattering shadows at every single point on the body the camel toe is unreal so we're just gonna yeah i'm, I'm pointing it out but i'm also bypassing it because i'm not loving that again comes down to the material being very very thin all round a very very unflattering set so this one is a no it is going straight back so this is the next set very thin which is a little bit annoying because i ideally would like to tuck this jumper into the trousers and as you can see the top is very long so you can kind of just see it through so i would have to have it like very 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 baggy which isn't the worst however it's also so big on the bottoms and i double checked the label to make sure that it was a small because i was like surely i've got this wrong and i've like ordered the next size up i will show you in a sec how wide it is so i would say it's actually bigger than my waist but you can imagine if i wore them on my actual waistline just how long the leg would be because the legs are already so long and i literally have them like hoisted up as high as i could possibly wear them so sadly this one is just going to be a no for me as well which is fine i've got loungewear so it's not needed it's just if this felt like outstanding and incredibly chic i would definitely love to add it to my wardrobe and it is still very chic but not perfect for me but i think if you are taller you would probably love this okay guys am i being really picky you need to tell me here and i hope it shows up on camera the way it does to my eye but this top and these bottoms do not match they are ever so slightly different which is really annoying because they looked incredibly similar on the website and at the time there was no other top that looked like it went with this and maybe they will restock i will have another look because it might be there was something there that wasn't there when i was looking before but this is <laughs> this is really annoying there's such a close match like to the eye but actually on camera it's becoming even more apparent which is so annoying because it's such a cute little set really cute little pair of leggings but that's gonna bug the hell out of me would it bug anyone else let me know maybe i'm just being really really picky other than that the fit is great i love these leggings they feel like they really pull you in like very nice and fitted really cute the top is really nice as well and has a really nice fit and i think you could wear this like as a non-active wear top, you could easily get away with wearing this with like a pair of jeans. It'd be very cute. But yeah, I think as a workout set, this is going to bug me. What do we think about the colours? Can you please let me know? So that is it for my little haul. But before I like finished up, I wanted to just show you an outfit that I've been loving recently. I don't think it's going to be warm enough for the rest of the month for me to ever show you this one again. But I literally have loved wearing it over the past kind of week or so i've got my zara cycle shorts on with my fendi it's like a body swimsuit kind of hybrid it's a swimsuit but i'll wear it as a body because it was expensive and 
I'm gonna get the wear out of it. Then my Veja trainers and then my Zara silky shirt, which I originally was kind of like wearing done up over the cycle shorts with my Converse, just like, oh yeah, cute shirt and cycle shorts. And then I decided to put this under it and have it open and I just really love it. So this is an example of how I've been like casually wearing the Zara silky shirt over the past week. Um, it's just an outfit that I have really loved. So whilst I was in this body, I thought I would just show it to you quickly, seeing as we're trying like outfits on. If you haven't seen my Zara haul, I will link it. I can't remember if I've already mentioned it in this video, but I am just loving, absolutely loving this. It was such a great purchase. Yesterday, but I did not vlog because I'm not gonna lie. Oh, look at my giant box of recycling, isn't that cute? The things I don't normally show you. I'm not gonna lie. I was very stressed yesterday and I was on I was on the edge. I was a woman on the edge and I was like rather than be in a really bad mood and vlog because like no one needs that vibe, no one needs that energy. I'm just gonna like take five. So we are back today. It's Thursday, it's upload day again. I'm always doing this. Hello, Angel. Are you coming to say hi? Oh the cutest. The cutest cutie patootie is here. You just want to say hi to everyone, don't you? Yeah, I just thought I would check in with you guys while I'm waiting for my heat protectant to set in and dry. I've got my coffee. I've used a new syrup this morning and I actually really like it. It's a very autumnal syrup, so I feel really chuffed with myself. Don't know what it is. Summer is my favorite season, but there's something so pleasing about autumn. All of the little like things that come with it. I just, I'm, I'm so here for it. I just realized I haven't powdered and I am glowy very glowy but yeah it's a very good coffee i've got a really watery eye as well it's not early i look like i'm tired and that it's early it's really not honestly don't know what's wrong with me can we talk about this makeup setup so <laughs> the uh compact situation got really bad and this is like my general day-to-day -day eyeshadow that i use <laughs> so it's gonna live on a plate for a bit whilst i literally like dab at it because i refuse to waste product so we'll see how long this lasts before i get annoyed also another ysl touche class bites the dust you really can't see but it is like not pumping out very very sad this one you can see it's like down here that's about to go fortunately i have had a new one arrive and i'm very happy about that i'm also wearing a new lip product it's another anastasia beverly hills liquid lipstick this one is in the shade naked i actually think it's better on me than pure hollywood i was really scared if i'm honest when i first applied this because it looks super like orangey warm toned peachy toned which doesn't suit me but it sets down to a more browny orange and it's just stunning it's like my perfect like warm but not too warm nude it's like that bang on that neutral tone absolutely love it doesn't look like it will be that warm but it, i will show you at some point i'll do like a little makeup tutorial in one of the vlogs i'll show you what it looks like when you first apply it because it looks really really bad against my skin tone when i first apply it and then it like settles to this really lovely nude tone so happy with it so chuffed i'm also very obsessed with this at the moment i've been spraying it on my face every day after spf and it gives like the best glow i'm really really enjoying it lots of you and i also use it to do my like hands when i need to top up my hands and i also use it to do my back as well that's how i tell my back but yeah very happy with my makeup today let's show you today's syrup it's in a different cupboard that's how new it is it doesn't fit in the normal cupboard we've got pumpkin caramel scone it's just very good like really nice and caramelly not all that pumpkiny there's a little bit of something but it's not like your normal pumpkin spice, which I'm not actually the biggest fan of. It's that perfect like pumpkin spice toffee nut latte hybrid. So loving, loving that. In other news, the sunflowers are still going strong. Oh, look at her. <laughs> Does anyone else just like love sunflowers? They're like so ugly, but so cute all at the same time. I feel bad every time I say that, like they can hear me, but I just absolutely love them. 
They're so cute. Like, I just want to touch them. Yeah, these are bringing me a lot of joy at the moment. And so is this one. You're so cute. Also, you guys, look at this sad, sad little veg patch. This is my task for this weekend. It needs to be sorted out. I'm thinking now that things are a lot busier, that that veg patch might need to become like a big giant herb bed or just a giant flower bed this weekend because I'm not going to have the time to dedicate to it next year. So... I'm kind of gonna need to prep it. Yeah. What do we think? What would you do with it? I have some bulbs so I could fill it with bulbs that sprout at different times. Her bed, giant lavender bed. I have so many options. Let me know what you think. Also, little OOTD. I have a new shirt jacket, which yes, it is very similar to the one from New Look, which is on my rail. I knew that Zara would come out with a similar one. This one is actually a lot lighter. Very, very similar to my white one, which I really like. The New Look one will actually be great as like a heavy jacket throughout the winter. It's a lot thicker, whereas this is really nice and light, actually perfect for the temperature at the moment because it's still nice and warm. It's like that nice toasty pre-autumn weather, that kind of transitional dressing season, which I love so much. So yeah, I'm really enjoying wearing that today. My Topshop, Topshop? No. I used to actually have these from Topshop, but this is a Zara um, like crop tee. I have been getting so much wear out of the white and the black. I think I might need to like order duplicates. So I always have one when they're in the wash. And then I've got my Zara. Basically, this is an all Zara outfit. Zara cycle shorts on as well. And then my little white converse. Yeah, now I need to sort this hair out. It's gone very frizzy now that I've just sprayed like liquid on it. So I'm just unboxing an ASOS order, getting ready to film a video. You guys, look at this coat. I just threw it in as like an extra <laughs> in the order. It was really not meant to be a purchase, but I thought it was too cute to not try on. Do we hate it? Do we rate it? I think it's so cute. I feel like some people will love this and some people will really hate it. It's very chunky. I think it's great that it comes with the tie waist because otherwise it is pretty big way too early for coats but i just saw this one and i couldn't resist you also have this really cute dress which was not part of the birthday outfit selection but it might need to be it's really pretty it's like a flowy skirt kind of like more of a day dress but this with boots would look so lovely like a pair of like rusty kind of like red boots or like brown boots would be so pretty this is so cute i've actually just paired it with some knee-high tan boots i would actually consider just because of my height like it just hits that awkward point on the knee i would consider belting or pinning this one which will give it more of a kind of like casual vibe but if you're shorter definitely an option if you're taller this will just fall really really beautifully it's so pretty if you had like an autumn wedding this would be such a lovely dress to wear it's got like these cute little gold bits on it along with the print so pretty i'm not sure i could definitely do just like a really simple little belt that you wouldn't even see. But yeah, I think this is just a nice like autumn dress for me for like cute occasions, but it's not gonna be birthday dress. Anyway, I need to crack on and pick the birthday dress. That video is gonna be coming soon. I'm actually still waiting on one more dress, which I had to patiently keep refreshing the page on ASUS for. I don't think you can get it anymore, which is gonna be so sad if it's like the one that I choose and you guys want it as well. You basically have to wait for someone to return it so it like comes back into stock, but it is, like stunning but yeah i have a few options just a few i kind of like save up throughout september and like order bits as and when i see them so we're going to be picking my birthday outfits in the next video and there are actually a lot of outfits to pick this year i'm doing a few things so excited for that so still a few more pieces to get out but really excited to crack on with that i'm actually going to wrap this video up here because i just feel like i've talked a lot but i hope you guys are all having a great day and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye Thank you.